Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another video feature today. Another one of our first on cam ones. If you guys didn't check out the last video, we're really excited about going on cam. So please leave your thoughts down below. Let us know how we can improve doing on cam and stuff like that, since we're rather green to the whole thing. But today we're gonna talk about actually a really cool Godzilla King of the Monsters thing, which is an extra post credit scene that eventually was cut from the movie. But thanks to director Michael Dattery, we now know the details of it. So a lot of people from the beginning, ever since Godzilla King of the Monsters was in production, were really excited about the character kind of growth that we'd get with hopefully the human characters and Monarch and their involvement with the Mutos, now called Titans. And even besides that, another thing for me personally I know I was really excited about was the world building with all the different monsters we would receive, not just Kong and not just Ghidorah, but you know, this version of Mothra, the really cool version of Rodan we got, and of course all the other Titans around the world that eventually were revealed. And with a character like Mothra, that was always a character when I saw the movie, I didn't think I'd be super invested in. And even when I left the movie, I wasn't invested in the character, but I was definitely intrigued by this adaption and I was hoping to see more. But unfortunately due to how the movie ended, it was left rather ambiguous if we'd see another Mothra in the future. However, it turns out originally it was planned to confirm to the audiences in an extra post credit scene, not only would Mothra continue on in some way, like in memory so to speak, but there would actually just be another Mothra down the line ready to hatch. And according to Michael Dowdery during an interview with comicbookmovie.com, he says, there was one we shot with Charles Dance obviously buying King Ghidorah's head, but there is a second one that we had ridden, boarded, and even had locations scouted for and costumes ready to go. It basically involved uh, Zhang Ziyi's character, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, and is set in the aftermath of the film. She's in Tokyo and goes into some sort of restaurant or bar and goes down a set of stairs and ends up in what looks like an ancient temple that's eerily similar to the one we saw in the beginning of the film in China. Then she meets up with her identical twin sister, and the twin sister is expressing concerns about whether they should go through with what they're doing or not. And basically we see some young girls that are very young, and they're kind of questioning if they're ready for what they're about to do. But it turns out basically it's nothing super scandalous or anything like that, and we're eventually shown a second Mothra egg, and the two girls are singing basically songs to the Mothra egg to have it hatch. So this would have been a really cool thing to see, obviously in the big screen, not only confirming another adaptation of the Mothra twins, but also confirming we may get another version of Mothra in Godzilla vs Kong, which comes out next year as of when I'm recording this. And that would be really cool because maybe they took this out of the movie because during Godzilla vs Kong, they want to have a kind of surprise reveal of Mothra returning. I'm not really sure what they're going with here. It would be really interesting to see though how they do Mothra considering the god rays and also in general they basically set an established rule now where Mothra can help empower Godzilla if needed even though that may require a sacrifice of life on Mothra's part. Regardless it's still really interesting we have that ability now to work with between Godzilla and between Mothra especially if that's something that maybe Monarch, for example, wants to militarize or do the reverse of as a way to depower Godzilla in case he ever goes nuclear again. Those would be really cool things to play with, so maybe that's why they didn't include it after all, because they just didn't want to, I guess, kind of open that can of worms too early, or maybe while they were filming and doing production of that, it was revealed by the director of Godzilla vs. Kong that he had no plans for Mothra at all, so kind of doing that whole post credit scene would be pointless for a lot of people. But comment below your guys thoughts. What do you guys think about this? Would you guys have liked to see Mothra officially confirmed to be still alive in some way, shape or form, whether it's an offspring or not? I personally would totally be down for it, but let us know your thoughts down below and we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching our video. If you guys liked what you saw, please like and subscribe, share with your friends and consider filling out the survey in the description below. It's just some stuff for us to find out ways we can better make our content, whether it's the lighting, the camera, you know, the audio, the video, whatever it may be, we wanna make the best content possible for you guys here at HN. So just fill out the survey if you have a chance, let us know, put in the comments, things we can improve upon. And we hope you guys liked the video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know what you guys would like to see next time. We'll see you guys later.